You are now watching the Shade Tar Vlog. Just sit back, relax, and follow along to the things Shay says and the things he does for his cool family and just because he's put his life online for you. He's done it for a year, now let's hope for two. I'm ready for a video, so let's be clear. Hey, hi, I'm vlogging here. He's vlogging here. Kids. Do not do this. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> what did they do? There was a rush. He goes, get in your car! <laughs> Mommy Tart actually has a scar from doing that when she was yeah, younger. Tell us the story, Mommy I, um, Tart. Professional. Avid professional Chinese fire driller. <laughs> driller. <laughs> and I tell you the story. Cheerleading competition, high school, short cheerleading skirt. Oh, big, so short. Big black fluffy but, coat. Oh, coat. No, <laughs> coat. So it looked like I only had the coat on uh -huh. and my cheerleading shoes. And my friends that's your tiny guardrail. So we go <laughs> running around the car rail. Ha ha ha. And then everybody piles in the car car and <laughs> the vehicular device uh -huh. and I go to stop and get in the car and my feet slide out from under me my feet fly over my head who knows who saw my bloomers and so I have a big fat scar right here on Where? my hip show us it. from but it looks like a bear claw like it does it was it bleeding really bad it was bleeding and it had gravel in it and it was like it hurt really bad, but it was so funny that everybody was laughing. We were laughing so hard. Great times, great stories. Don't ever do that, you guys. It's <laughs> Don't dangerous. Ever do that. At the Boise Mall, it is freaking packed. This parking lot is like murderous parking scavengers. And check it out, baby. Best spot, almost. Second best spot in the lot. Best spot in the lot. Best spot in the lot. Hey, Grandpa. Get that while the car hits you, right? Yeah. <laughs> my beard is better than yours. Hey, loser. Hey, loser. My beard's better than yours. Oh, oh, oh hey, what's up? Loser. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You won't get anything for Christmas but a lump of coal. He actually does have a better beard than me, and his, his is real. It's not even fake. Check it. He's a he's an authentic Santa. Can I go there? You want to go talk to him? Yeah. How long's the line first? What? That is the real Santa Claus. Oh, it is. It's the real one? Right here in the Boise Mall? He took time out of his Sunday to come down here? Especially during the holidays. That's a lot. He must be busy. He hops around really fast. Hey, Princess Tar, who's that over there? Santa. What's he doing? You want to go sit on his lap? No. You're shy? I want to. You want to? What are you going to tell him you want? A paper jam. You want a paper jam? Okay, maybe he'll get you one. Baby Tart! Who do you see over there? Santa. Is that Santa? Yeah. Is that exciting? Baby Tard. Baby Tard, you want to go talk to him? I no? I want to. Sundart's not shy. Do you want to go dance for Santa? That would be cool. Maybe if you dance for him. Oh, here we go. <laughs> wait, Sundart, come back. <laughs> Hold on. We got we to gotta wait in line, dude. Everybody, I almost caused a slight catastrophe. <laughs> Who doesn't love a good catastrophe? I know I do. So we left Boise, and uh, little old lapsed-minded Shay Carl forgot to check if we'd filled up for gas, and we didn't. And um, from Boise to Mountain Home, it's like 40 miles. We got about 10 miles out of Boise, and I realized that the gas light was on. <laughs> so and I didn't want to turn around and go back. That's backtracking. That's wasted time and wasted energy. So I said, come on, we can make it. We can make it to Mountain Home. And we're getting closer. And luckily, there's just some little gas station out in the middle of nowhere. It's called 
the Boise Stage Stop, Feed and Fuel, and they're selling gas for $2.99 a gallon. Which I will gladly pay. Have you ever had funny gas stories like that? What's the cheapest you've ever paid for gas? One time, me and my buddy, when I was a senior, were driving from Idaho to Colorado and stopped somewhere, I think, in Kimmer, Wyoming, or somewhere in Wyoming, I paid 89 cents a gallon. I feel like a grandpa when I say that, like, I remember in my day, we paid a nickel for 10 gallons of petrol. Now I was back in my day. I don't think gas will ever be that cheap ever again, but I remember thinking 89 cents holy crap that's so cheap then there was another time where me and mommy tired were leaving Vegas and I forgot to get gas again and we got like in the middle of the desert and there was nothing and we found this little tiny town that we pulled over in and there was no gas station there so we started asking like the locals at this little local restaurant if they had any gas if anybody had like a can of gas and they told us that there was this guy who sold gas in his backyard so they told us where he lived we drove over to his house the weirdest dude ever he had like little gnomes and batteries and just all kinds of crazy stuff you could tell he'd find out he'd found out on the outside of the freeway he charged us five dollars a gallon and he had these big red cans and we paid it gladly because we were going to be stuck. I told Mommy Tara, so that's how everybody in this town came to be here, is they ran out of gas and they could never get out, and so they ended up having to live here the rest of their lives. So in my life, I've paid 89 cents a gallon and $5 a gallon. Isn't that crazy? I feel like in the next 10 years, everything's going to be electric anyways. Hopefully, we don't need gas anymore. That would be great, right? we got to reduce our dependency on foreign oil. I'll punch you right in the face, I swear it! Oh, you're pissing me off, woman! I'm trying to vlog here! You better get it! <laughs> There's a dude over there staring at us. <laughs> This is Mommy Tart's sister. You knew that. Don't try to sell me that story of your worries and glory. I have heard it all before and it's an allegory. You left me feeling misled and beheaded by the new profound king of this pretended intellectual thing called love or something. I know one thing, nothing's ever quite what it seemed. Your lovely picture's just a Oh,